people don't see me as a typical cancer patient. I'm a very positive person, I have my hair, I just grasp life every day. I'm very grateful for every day. I discovered I had inflammatory breast cancer in October 2012. I was straight into six rounds of very strong, very harsh chemos, which left me quite debilitated and on the sofa. I just had this feeling inside me that something wasn't right. And they discovered that it had spread to the liver, the lungs, the bones. And then eventually they found out it had spread to the brain as well. We're now at the stage where I'm actually not on any medication. It has been an interesting <laughs> roller coaster of a journey, but I've learned an awful lot about myself and a lot about people and the kindness of people as I've gone along. The research is amazing because I wouldn't be able to access the drug that I did and have 50 cycles and have a good quality of life. Last year, I took my children on a road trip around Scotland climb Ben Nevis, I was able to be an active mom and take an active part. It's something that makes me feel alive and that's really important to me. Four people in my family that have been affected by uh, breast cancer and myself, there must be a genetic reason for this. And I just hope that science and research come along and the, come along and help me and that's what I wait for, and that's what I believe in.